video you are about to watch is what students are likely to expect going forward in terms of their visa application process. Thank you. Yes, so this is part of the credibility interview to make sure we have genuine um, students studying in the UK. So I'm going to ask you a, a couple of questions and would want you to respond as credibly as possible. Okay. So why did you choose the University of the West of Scotland? Um, I previously studied in the University of West of Scotland. I did my undergraduate here and my experience was just amazing. I really liked the teaching method, the laboratory facilities and the internship opportunities as well provided by the university. Additionally, not only uh, the, the facilities were good academically, there was good co-curricular activities available for me as a student. I was very involved in the Students' Union as well. There's so many opportunities uh, studying in UWS, so that's, that's one of the sole reasons why I would like to come back to UWS and study my course. Okay, why did you choose the course that you have chosen to study? I have applied for a master's in biotechnology. Uh, my undergraduate degree was a bit more basic and I want to gain a bit more further scientific knowledge and this course will provide me uh, further knowledge in uh, knowledge base in microbiology subjects and genetics based subjects, more laboratory enhanced techniques and uh, which would uh, primarily contribute towards my career aspirations and I think this course will really benefit me. How do your studies fit into your overall career plans? My first undergraduate was a bit more basic. The postgraduate is going to be a bit more uh, technical, a bit more revised. So I will have a bit more enhanced laboratory skills, uh, practices, and all these will help me what I want to do in future. I want to become a forensic scientist and all these laboratory techniques, uh, lab practices, good quality control practices would help me apply the skills I've learned here in the industrial uh, areas and that would help me excel in my career as well. So if the cost of studying in your home country is less than in the UK, why do you incur extra costs to come and study here in the UK? I do acknowledge the, the fact that uh, it's very expensive to study in the UK because I already did my undergraduate uh, years back. But uh, to be honest, it's, it's worth it. The deg a degree from the UK is, uh, is of good standard. The quality of education, as I've experienced in my undergraduate degree, it's, it's very high and especially UWS's quality is quite top-notch. And I, I wanted what I wanted to have in terms of academically. And I feel like a degree in the UK would help me better than a degree in any other country. Have you previously studied in the UK? And yes. why do you want to return? I'm returning back to experience what I've already experienced in the UK. Uh, the same amount of uh, high standard quality education which would help me learn better, gain more skills and take it back, uh, take it back uh, home here and use that in my uh, career and enhance myself for personal development. So have you had a long break in your education and why do you want to come back just now? So I finished my undergraduate in UWS four years ago and for two years I've been working in a multinational company here, a scientific research based company and uh, the experience I've gained in this company is, is, is a lot, it's immense. I've, I've gained teamwork, uh, knowledge of how scientifically uh, planning works, uh, different strategies and things like that. So using these skills I would excel in my studies even more better and I wanted to take this uh, opportunity to have a wee break. Um, do you plan to work in the UK? Well, obviously I'm a student. I'm here to primarily study and uh, hopefully get a good first class degree. But I do understand I have uh, some working permissions in a Tier 4 general visa for 20 hours in term time. And if I had an opportunity to secure a good internship, I would definitely take it uh, given that it's within the regulations uh, so that I can also gain a bit of experience on how it is to work in the industry in Scotland or, or England itself. How will you fund your studies? Funding my studies, I do have a partial scholarship from UWS and apart from that, uh, I have a loan from the bank which will be 60% funded and my parents will fund the other 40% from the remaining. So when you return after your studies, can you give me a rough idea how much you hope to earn when you're working? In terms of coming back 
and uh, earning and working in the industry as well that will still be considered as an entry level because I've not gained enough experience enhanced experience but it will be much better than the earlier employment uh, as far as a research it'll be around uh, 80 or 90 thousand rupees which is around 800 to 900 pounds uh, once I immediately graduate and get a job uh, going on uh, further I might have a bit of higher wages so. so where do you plan to live while studying I plan to live in the student accommodations. I've secured a place already uh, with my offer to study at UWS. It's just a storage three accommodations. Approximately how much time would it take you to move from your study, uh, residence to the, to the university? The accommodations are fairly uh, walkable distance, three to five minutes from my room to, uh, the, to the concerned um, building or room. So it will be a very short walk. Thank you very much for your time today. Uh, we will get back to you. Thank you, sir. Okay.